In this video, we'll take a look at the Design Code Check tool in the Leap Bridge Steel Connect Edition. In this tool, when you first call it up, uh, there are some options here that can be defined. So you have the ability to define your ADTT for this structure. Uh, you can select a highway type. Uh, and then you can also set the performance ratio thresholds. And those work as follows. Anything under designed uh, will have a performance ratio of greater than one. And by default, anything that is considered over designed uh, will have a ratio less than 0 0.5. So I'm going to go ahead and kick off the process here of running the design check. Once this completes, we'll take a look at some of the reports that are available. Now that the design check has ran, we can take a look at the reports that are associated with it. First thing you might want to do if you're just starting the process here is you might want to go to uh, the under design report and check what parts of the structure are under design. It's simply a matter of hitting the submit button here and it will call out the uh, POIs where you have under designed uh, portions of the structure, uh, the equation involved, uh, what code check was performed, and uh, what the resulting performance ratio is. As you can see, this bridge pretty much rates out as is. Um, some other reports we can take a look at here if we go into design check. Uh, that's where we can see reports for, you know, again, any of the members, any POIs, uh, any of the combinations. And we have reports here for section properties and limits, factored forces and stresses, intermediate values, constructability, uh, service limit and strength limit states as well as some overall summary reports. So just to give you a flavor of what these reports look like I'll go ahead and select one of them. I'll select the constructability report. I'll do it for the first girder here at all the POIs. I'll go ahead and hit submit and that will go ahead and kick off the process of creating these reports. As you can see, we've got some very easy uh, on the eye type reports uh, here. We call out the article out of the code. We'll show you the equations from the code. We'll show you the parameters that we input into those equations and what the resulting performance ratio is. And then we even say whether it passed or failed. If it failed, the box will actually be filled in red and have the word failed uh, inside of there. So you can see very uh, nice, very easy to read uh, reports here in the um, Leap Bridge Steel uh, code check tool. Once the report completes, you can come up here to the top. Uh, you could add a watermarks to the report if this is uh, maybe a 30% set of plans or 60% plans and you want to add some type of notation to it. Uh, you can export this out to PDFs, uh, web pages, spreadsheets, CSV, text files, or you can email it as any of those uh, file formats here as well. So again, we've got a, a plethora of reports here. Uh, all the code check reports you need, uh, your fatigue reports, uh, if, assuming you've run a grillage or finite element analysis, uh, we can come back and do uh, some detailed cross frame and shear connector reports. And as I mentioned previously, we have some under design and over design uh, reports here as well. So that's a quick look at the uh, uh, design code check tool here in Leap Bridge Steel Connect Edition. And thank you for watching this video.